Be on the lookout March 11th because that's when Agent 47 picks up new contracts in Hitman. That's right, Square Enix and IO Interactive have announced that Hitman launches early next year with six campaign missions, with the companies calling the title a quote, live game experience that delivers content over time supported by live events. That means there will be time-limited targets, weekly contracts, and promoted created content for my boy Agent 47. Plus, IO Interactive is adding one new sandbox location in April, May, and June, which will bring new missions and signature kills to Hitman. So you can get all of this content for 60 bucks, or just pick up the initial stuff at launch for 35 bucks. It's your call. Though, may I recommend you follow IGN's coverage of Hitman for the best advice? We're like pretty good at covering video games. Just saying. The PlayStation 4 system software update 3.0 is finally arriving tomorrow. Called Kenshin, the update brings a host of new features to the Sony system, including an events app, the ability to share 10-second clips to Twitter, and YouTube live streaming. That's pretty rad stuff. Now, if we could just get an update that allows my PlayStation 4 to make delicious coffee in the morning, it would basically do everything I could ever want. Well, that and folders, I guess. Another day, another Xbox One bundle. Yep, Microsoft has unveiled a new Xbox One holiday set that includes a one terabyte console, Gears of War Ultimate Edition, Rare Replay, and Ori and the Blind Forest for $400. Pretty sweet, huh? And the company says the bundle is set to launch next month, so you don't have to wait too long. Now remember, there are three more Xbox One sets being revealed this week, which means Microsoft has three more chances to announce my Fallout 4 puppy bundle. This is no joke, people. Whether you like it or not, Konami plans to continue the Metal Gear series without creator Hideo Kojima. The company's community manager Graham Day talked with Game On Daily about the franchise's future and discussed whether Metal Gear will move forward without Kojima. He said, yeah, of course it can. Metal Gear is about the story, it's about the characters, and I think, yeah. Day pointed to Metal Gear Rising Revengeance as an example of this, and then touched upon recent reports that Konami is exiting the AAA games business. He said, don't believe everything you read in the press. That's never changed. Things have been taken out of context, but that's never changed. Well, I'm skeptical. I mean, Konami has nothing announced for the future regarding big name games. Silent Hills was canceled, which I'm bitter about still. And we haven't heard about a new Castlevania or Contra for a while now. But hey, hopefully I'm wrong, though I'm probably not, hence the sad face. Did you know that Nathan Drake was originally inspired by Jackass co-creator Johnny Knoxville? Yeah, me neither. But Naughty Dog apparently had a different look planned for Uncharted's leading man initially. Naughty Dog writer Josh Schur discussed one of the first incarnations of Drake with The Verge, saying he was, quote, based partially on Johnny Knoxville, with a comically emotive face like something in the DreamWorks film. Yeah, I definitely think Naughty Dog made the right call by going with a more realistic look. God, I love Nathan Drake. I want you, yes you, to show me your killing skills. Okay, that sounds a bit creepy, so let me elaborate. We here at IGN are looking for the top Rainbow Six Siege kills from the current beta. So, send us your highlight reel by emailing the link below. What are you waiting for? Go, 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 go! Do it now! And that's your Daily Fix for September 29th. I'm Naomi Kyle, and remember, you can get your fix anytime online at IGN.